Oh, hey guys, I'm at the site of the old Dayton Union Station. This was the train station that was all built in 1900 on the site of an earlier wooden train station built in 1850. Uh, it was partially demolished in 1964 as the car became more important than the train. Um, and then in 1979, the last regular service to uh, uh, Amtrak service to Dayton occurred and uh, Ronald Reagan did a whistle -top stop tour of the United States, spoke here around uh, 1983, and in the intervening 40 years, the building was demolished. Likely, the railroad just didn't want to pay the cost of maintenance, and more, more likely the cost of property tax on the structure uh, and, and, and tore it down. Uh, today, it's a parking lot. That's a pretty common story all across the United States. Uh, there's a parking garage behind me. St. Clair Community College is, is over there with a uh, flight training uh, school, uh, aircraft maintenance school. In Clarksburg, West Virginia, we had a parking study done and it's, it's received a lot of uh, criticism from some people being a waste of money. Well, I would agree that if you just take a book, Donald Shoup's High Cost of Free Parking, walk around and follow his recommendation of raising uh, parking fees any place where on-street parking is 85% full during the day and lowering the rates any any place where on-street parking is less than 80% full during the day uh, you probably come up with something close to the recommendations in the in the study that they paid to have done um, this is pretty common sense that probably you need higher uh, um, parking fees in a few blocks of downtown along Main Street and in other places there's no reason to have a meter any enforcement at all. Um, the reason we have to have a study is to shut people up. Yeah, I can say this or any number of citizens can say this but there's always going to be someone who says well what's your education what's your certification uh, are you a business owner whatever we needed a piece of paper or, or a stack of paper um, just to have some authority. Um, hopefully moving forward, we won't need that, but for now, uh, uh, that's what's necessary. And I'll just say, the reason there are so many parking lots in towns is not because parking is profitable or there's a need for down more parking. This, this lot is almost completely empty. That garage over there is almost completely empty during the day. Uh, it's a huge waste of taxpayer money. The reason these buildings come down is the owners don't want to pay property tax on them. And if the owners can have the city tear it down at taxpayer expense, that's even better for them. That's always what it is. It's almost always a grift and a scam. I'll holler at you later.